In this video, we're going to look at integration and how to integrate sine squared x with respect to x. Now, to integrate a sine squared x or a cos squared x, it's much easier to use the double angle formula for cos 2x to change it into a rearrangement of that. So, for instance, what we're going to do is we're going to use cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Now, if we rearrange this and make sine squared the subject, then we can replace this with something with cos 2x, which is much easier to integrate. So, let's bring the 1 over, so you're going to get cos 2x minus 1 equals minus 2 sine squared x. Uh, well, let's times through by minus 1. Now, times through by minus 1, well, we could just switch these around to get 1 minus cos 2x is equal to... 2 sine squared x. And if we divide through by a half, or divide through by 2, we're then going to get a half minus a half cos 2x is equal to sine squared x. So we know that sine squared x then is equal to a half minus a half cos 2x. So let's replace that here. So we're going to get the integral of a half minus a half cos 2x with respect to x. Now let's split this up into the two separate integrals. So we're going to do the integral of a half with respect to x minus the integral of a half cos 2x with respect to x. Actually, I'll actually take the half outside here to get the integral of a half with respect to x minus a half the integral of cos 2x. Now remember that if you've got a number at the front like here, you can just take it outside. So let's integrate cos 2x. Um, if you're good at that, you'll just recognize that it's going to be equal to um, a half sine 2x. But if you're not too good at that, and then you times it by half to get that like minus a quarter sine 2x. But if you're not too good at that, let me just show you over here how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to let y equal what you would then get, if or what you would differentiate to get uh, cos 2x. Well, you would start off with something with sine 2x. Because whenever you differentiate this, you would get that dy by dx would be equal to cos 2x times the differential of the 2x, which would be 2. So if you were to integrate 2 cos 2x, you would get sine 2x. But we don't want a 2 in front, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide both of these by 2. So you're going to get rid of that and put a half here. So if you integrate cos 2x, you get a half sine 2x. Or... 1 over the differential of the inside and then change this to call our sign. So you're going to get then, if you integrate both of these, you're going to get a half x minus a half brackets, a half sine 2x plus c. Now, some people just would have went from here to here because the, the diff uh, to integrate the cos, you get sine, 2x and then the differential of the inside is 2 so it's 1 over 2 so a half sine 2x. So if you just simplify this you're going to again get a half x minus a quarter sine 2x plus c. So if you want to integrate something like sine squared x what you're going to do is you're going to use the double angle to change it into uh, cos 2x and then you're going to then um, write something involving cos 2x and then you're going to integrate that and then you'll get your answer.